Hello everyone, this is a video showing you how to remove hard bounces from your subscriber list. So this is something that we practice typically we use for deliverability purposes and you may have been informed because of some of some deliverability issue. You might be doing it on your own, removing the hard bounces uh, can be in some circumstances a beneficial thing to keeping deliverability nice and cool. Um, so I'm in here in the tracking window under my tracking, tracking tab, my tracking, and I'm just viewing these recent jobs here and I see that I had some delivered, you know, a few non-deliverables right here. So I'm going to take a look at this job. Let's go and open up the job tracking. Cool. So now we can see down here hard bounces. These are, you know, could have happened for a number of reasons, but basically it's usually saying uh, something along the lines of the email address doesn't exist in this domain any longer. So we're going to head and go ahead and uh, manually reset the statuses of these subscribers. So if I click on this link, hard bounce, I can see the subscribers that bounced and let's just export export all uh, subscribers and this will give us a CSV file that we can use then to uh, set this up. So let's go ahead and add, in my case, I, our, our account here uses subscriber key which is a unique identifier. Many accounts is just email address. So if you have that you're going to want to go ahead and include it and I'll, I always include email address as well. So I've got those two. I don't really need the rest of these uh, attributes because I'm just setting a status for the subscriber. I'd like it in a CSV format and, and yeah, I'd prefer that it was email. So let me enter my email address. And let's go ahead and export that. All right, so we've received our email export in our email and I've gone and downloaded and opened it here. We've got our CSV with um, the, you know, the subscribers that bounce, their email address, the subscriber key, like I said, in our case, may just be email address in your case. But let's add a column named status, and this is exactly what it sounds like. It's a, a subscriber status, and we're going to manually define it as unsubscribed. And fill that in for all of the subscribers. So just drag and drop. So now I'm telling them, I'm telling the system that these are unsubscribed subscribers. We're not going to send them any longer and we're going to import the all subscribers list so that we can make sure that they're never sent to any longer. So go ahead and save your list and let's head back to the account for the subscribers tab. All subscribers and let's import this list. select the file, it's the CSV, add and update subscribers. I could just update of course because in theory these subscribers exist already. Upload the file and we see that because it was named already we've got everything mapped correctly. Let's check your status down at the bottom. Cool. See our new status column is now being recognized so let's upload that. All right, everything looks good. I can email myself and upon completion, if I wish, and begin the import. Great. So now what we've done is told the system in it essentially that these are unsubscribed subscribers. So if for some reason there are instances in which a hard bounce can occur more than one times, and uh, if you've been advised to do so, this is the process about which you would go to upload those uh, hard bounces. So thanks, everyone.